I'm Coyote Peterson. And that right there, that's poison frog. Oh boy. Living inside of each and every one of us is a call to adventure. Follow that call to Costa Rica and it will likely lead you on a trail to the Osa Peninsula, where you are certain to make discoveries that will never be forgotten. Is there something on my face? Central America is one of the most biologically diverse locations on the planet, and if you know where to look, there's a chance you will encounter its most elusive amphibian species. A tiny, yet toxic creature that has always lived at the top of my animal wish list. However, finding one would not be simple, and this adventure would require the team and I to journey deep into the heart of the rainforest. Oh, one thing that you don't realize until you're in the Costa Rican rainforest is just how sweltering it really is. Now we've scaled down the side of this ravine and made it to a creek bed, the perfect place to search for amphibians. What I'm after are poison frogs. Let's head up this way and see what we can find. Getting into poison frog territory is only half the battle. The rainforest poses many challenges, but none more paralyzing for a camera team than a massive rainstorm. Well, I guess this is why they call it a rainforest. It's really raining now. For nearly two hours, we were forced to keep the cameras in protective bags, while our bodies soaked up the deluge of torrential rain. And while rain is bad for cameras, it's absolutely perfect for bringing amphibians out of their hiding spots. I see him. Come up slow. Yes! Right there. He's right there on the edge of that leaf. You see him? Oh. Red and teal. Yep. That's it. Let me see if I can just get him too. I'll hop up onto my hand. There we go. Got him. <sighs> awesome. All right, now that we finally got one, let's get him out into the better light and get him up close to the cameras. Woo! Oh, how cool is this? Back here. Finally, we have found a poison frog. Get ready. This is the granulated variety. Oh, 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 come here, little guy. I'm gonna try to just get him to balance on my hand there for a second so you can see him. Look at how adorable that little amphibian is. All right, I'm gonna get him under better control so that we can keep him here for this scene. Come here, little guy. Gently hold on to his back legs. Man, that's awesome frog. That is a cool frog right there. I'm pretty safe right now. I'm sure you're all watching this thinking to yourselves, oh boy, coyote, here you go again, handling another dangerous animal. Trust me, I'm in no danger as long as I don't lick or eat this little tiny frog. This has to be the most brightly colored frog I think I've ever come across. Being from Ohio, I'm used to catching green frogs and bullfrogs. They're brown and green. And you look at this environment, a rainforest, and you think to yourself, how does this frog possibly camouflage itself? Well, it doesn't. It's actually doing exactly the opposite. This bright coloration is called aposomatic coloration. It's actually a defense against predators because it warns them, if you eat me, I'm extremely toxic. Now, this specific species, the granulated poison frog, is not quite as toxic as some others. There are some species in South America that are so potent you could die within a matter of hours. Now, because this is an amphibian, it absorbs a lot of its moisture through its skin. So I'm constantly putting water on my hand from this creek and dribbling it onto the frog to keep his skin wet and my fingers wet. My fingers are actually also capable of extracting some of the moisture from this frog's body. The most important thing is to make sure I'm handling it gently and keeping this amphibian moist. Now one really interesting feature about poison frogs that separates them from many other frog species is that they do not have webbing in between their toes. If you can see there, it almost looks like the little toes of a gecko. 
And I don't know if we'll be able to see that with a macro shot, but they do have little sticky pads right on the tips of their fingers, which allow them to easily climb through the environment on leaves, up and down logs. It allows them to hunt through the forest for their food. Now what they're primarily feeding on is little ants, mites, and other invertebrates that have high concentrations of alkaloids. These alkaloids, once they're ingested into the frog's system, allow them to produce the toxins that make them poisonous. That's a pretty cool feature. Basically, the food that he's taking in is turning him into this super-powered toxic amphibian. Male poison frogs are incredibly territorial, and our wildlife biologist Mario managed to find himself in the right place, at the right time, to film an epic battle. This was a true clash of tiny giants, as the frogs went head to head with spin moves and body slams. This defensive behavior is rarely seen, and only a few have ever captured it on camera. The rivalry was intense, but only lasted for a brief moment, as the challenger was pinned belly up and finally driven off. With victory claimed, the king of this territory sat and croaked proudly upon his leafy throne. Now, I would never recommend that you go out and actually pick up one of these poison frogs. Now, this species is not potent enough to kill a human, but if you had a cut on your finger and some of that toxin gets into your system, it will give you a nauseous stomach and you probably have to lay down for a couple hours. What a cool experience, getting to handle a beautiful, yet toxic amphibian here in the Costa Rican rainforest. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Every time we film an episode of Breaking Trail, we are faced with unique challenges. And between the unforgiving terrain and onslaught of inclement weather, this episode specifically was one of the most difficult we have ever produced. Seems crazy that such a small creature like the poison frog would pose such a challenge. But in the end, this was one adventurous episode that was totally worth the effort. The poison frog wasn't the only creature that came out after the rain. Check out this crazy looking whip scorpion that somehow ended up on my face. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.